everyone, it's Nona Grace, and welcome to my home. I'm going to invite you into my kitchen, and then we're going to have a cup of coffee together. But first, first of all, I must say hi to someone special. I've got to get my magic mirror, which is on my counter, which hasn't left my counter since the last time I used it. You never know when you need it, that's why I have to have it there. Well, I'm going to say, hello, Jaden. I am so glad that you like hearing my voice. How are you today, Jaden? You are such a sweet boy. You know, I'm so glad that you and your grandma watch me on this. Oh, I got to go up a little. Oops, <laughs> sorry, I can't see myself. <laughs> Mr. Jim is watching. I can only see you. How are you doing today, sweetie? I'm so glad that you came to listen to me. I'm going to show you my kitchen. You're going to see it now. Your grandma, I'm going, to, I'm going to give her name so that people can look her up if they'd like to see her YouTube channel, because she has one. And I don't know if you know that, but yeah, your Grammy does. And her name is Life with Fritzy. And that's what her channel name is. And her name is Fritzy. Did you know your grandma's name is Fritzy? At least that's what I call her. I hope that's her name. But yeah, that's what I call her. So, so Jaden, you enjoy this little tour of my kitchen, and I'll talk to you at another time, okay? You be a good boy for grandma. Alrighty? Bye-bye. Okay. Now, we will have our cup of coffee. I've got my coffee already. I've already poured it, but I could pour a little more. I'll add a little. My coffee pot's over here. It's where I keep my coffee pot. And, you know, I have it always with coffee, so if you ever come by, there's always coffee made, or if, you, if it's been there too long, I will dump it into my plants and give you some fresh coffee. So, now I want to tell you about my kitchen that is built. Now, there should be like a triangle, but I actually, I actually did mine in a U-shaped kitchen, which is a little bit different, but sort of the same, because I've actually looked it up, because I had to look up things, because I want to make sure I get them right. My U-shaped kitchen is where you have, you still have the triangle kind of forming, only I have a, a, another wall. And what it is, is you're supposed to be able to get to your refrigerator and your stove within just so many steps. Like if I was cooking and, oh yeah, I need something out of the fridge, so you'd get it. And you pull it out and you put it and then you can go to your sink and rinse it off like if it was my eggs I would rinse it off now I want to go over here because I'm going to beat it I'm gonna beat something I want to beat it over here because I don't want to do it over there I've got too much stuff over there at the time and then oh this needs to go into the stove so now you come back over to the stove and I always have this is my cheese frying pan I always have it on the stove because I'm going to use it and this is my cast iron frying pan that I always have on the stove too, because I use it a lot, so I never put it away, but I do have it. Now these cupboards, all the cupboards in my kitchen, everything my husband built, these were just boards. The thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to take them off and sand blast or sand them or something. They're, they're just a clear varnish on so the patina of the wood has come through this these were lighter at one time and now they're a darker color and the lazy Susan when we when we got the kitchen it had a little lazy Susan in it and it had like a stepping corner up here a lot of wasted space so my husband built this lazy Susan I want to spin it it's a huge one it takes up the whole space of, um, this whole corner. There's no no waste in that corner. And then this is the cabinet when I was making the kombucha and the, the thing broke because I used a plastic bottle. You're not supposed to use a plastic bottle. I used, and the thing popped and the kombucha spilled. Well this is the cupboard that I could that I moved out. I could actually move the whole cupboard and down by the stove I was able to clean. So um, that was that was a mess, a real mess. And the the backsplash, as I was telling you, it's just marlite. This this I would really like a real pretty backsplash someday, but I haven't decided what I want to do. And my floor 
is very old. It's starting to show where the staples were. You're beginning to see little little spots on the floor. I don't know. This one is a, this one is the ding when my daughter was. No, that's not the ding. This is the ding from the. My daughter was climbing the cupboard. Draw, she used to pull the drawers off and climb them, and the whole thing tipped over. Thank goodness it didn't hit her, but it hit the floor and put a cut in the in the linoleum shortly after we got it. But the 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 um, staples are starting to come through on my floor, so I'm gonna have to. I would like to change this to something else. Hold on a minute. I gotta get the dog. in your house. Good boy. All right. Okay. That's how my videos get interrupted when I'm watching them. The dog will want attention, so I have to go out and get him. Um, was there anything else I wanted to tell you about the kitchen? I don't remember. Your eggshells. Huh? Your eggshells. Oh, my eggshells, yeah. <laughs> that stuff mm -hmm. that's on the counter. I keep saying, when I peel eggs, which I peeled eggs, I've got, can you see them? Mm -hmm. I've got, I put the eggshells in these meat containers with a paper towel and let them dry. I rinse them off a little bit when I'm, I'm in the water, so there's no, so I, I rinse the inside out. I just kind of rub the water and it's, this way they're, they're smooth and they don't smell. There's no odor. Well, anyways, I, I dry them in these. I have more, as you can see. This is my problem. I, I see things as a, as a keeper. Then I put the eggshells. Those eggshells will go in this jar. And then these eggshells will um, be ground so that I can give them to the chickens. I've got some that I've got to give them. That's what I do. And then also on my counter is always coffee filters. When I make coffee, I always... Scrape, we, this is what Jim was scraping the other day when I said, you're, I could hear you scraping. He was scraping, scraping with the spoon, the coffee filters into the, into the container that we put on the compost pile. But anyways, I save these and then I roll them. Why don't you put those on the compost? Because they don't, they don't, they don't disintegrate. They just kind of, they're there and then you're picking them out later. So you might as well just make something out of them. You're going to instead of wasting them it's, that's why my kitchen gets messy because i see everything as a as a possible ta as possible um craft. project craft craft yeah so and some things that i make like my pillowcase is still here i haven't put it away <laughs> i haven't decided where i want to put it yet so when i haven't decided it lands here my hot peppers i picked i ate some so there's less today than there was yesterday and i've got to go out and pick some more and the sleepy lotion, it's always here. And then I showed you my bamboo tree. It's still here. I don't know where to put it, so I'm gonna leave it. And when I made the the toilet paper roll thing with the pen for the pencil, well, I'm using it. And so that stays on the counter. Then when my grandkids come, which they always come every now and then, this they were using with their gack. It's my little, it's my little monkey. And they would put the gack in there and stick the monkey in there and, and pull it out and they would have fun. So this kind of just stays there. And that my fan that I used the other day. See, I don't put anything away. I'm so bad. My fan. Oh, I feel like I'm, it's not hot enough today to use it. It's, it's a nice day. It's, it's, the temperature is great. Okay, well that's that with the kitchen. I guess you've seen my kitchen. I've got up above. And I use, you know, you can buy book things and magazine things. I use old cereal boxes. I don't get any cereal boxes anymore, but I put, I put things that are important that I want to save are in here. And then I slide them up, up above. And so I've got cereal boxes there. I try to buy the same kind of boxes together so that it looks at least a little organized. And then this... My grandkids, when they come, they'll say, 
um, can I wear that necklace? And so they'll wear a necklace or a bracelet or they want the rosary beads and they wear them around their neck. And this is my vitamins. And this was my locked cupboard. When I had the foster kids, I had to lock the cupboard. Here's the, here's the, you can see the lock. Where the key is, I don't know. Something there. Anyways, but this is, it has vitamins. That's all that's basically in there is vitamins. But I would lock that up because I do keep my aspirin in there. And you didn't want anybody to overdose on aspirins. They could possibly do that. So this is, I'm so glad you came to visit. This is, it really, it feels like they're here. They're, they're right in my kitchen. Oh, I should have a little bit of my coffee. I poured some. And oh yeah, over here, this is a spoon holder that I bought in Georgia. Hello, Georgia. I bought it in Georgia. Um, but I bought it for my mom, and my mom, because she's passed away, I use it to, to stir my coffee. And this way, I have just one spoon that I, I reuse and use again. And then the mortar and pesto, when I want to grind something, of course, that stays out. A lot of things have to stay out, because if they're put away, they're not convenient anymore. So I just leave everything out. And the mug that I got from Brenda, um, Good News Travelers, I'm going to make a cake out of this. I haven't done it yet. This it sits here. It's, it's my decoration right now. But I want to use it for a mug cake. I've never had a mug cake, but I'd like to have one someday. So that's, that's perfect because, see, this cup is shaped wrong. It's narrow on the bottom where, where the cup she gave me. It's beautiful. It goes straight down, and the bottom is as big as the top, and so it'll be perfect. It'll be nice and easy to get it out. So that's, that's it. Well, I guess you have to go now. I'm sorry. I really am enjoying this. <laughs> I feel free to move around in my kitchen. But um, was there anything else I wanted to say? Let's see. I can always do these on another day because this has gotten pretty long. Our visit has gone on and on and on. But um, I better say goodbye to Jaden. Got to say goodbye. I got to sit down. I always sit down in my little favorite spot. Uh, but I'm facing the wrong way. I'm actually looking at my living room. So, Jaden, are you still there? Hi, sweetie. Yes, I'm going to say goodbye now. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my kitchen. And, you know, when I used to go to visit my neighbor, Mrs. Gatto, she's, she's I think, passed away now, possibly. Mm -hmm. I think she has passed away. She moved to a, a little home after she sold her home. But anyways, when I'd go to her house and then I'd come home, because her house was spick and span clean. I mean really spick and span clean. And I used to come home and I used to clean and clean and clean because mine was a mess in comparison to her. So that's why I worry about stuff. It may look okay to some people, but you know what? To other people, it may look cluttered. And I really like empty space, but I just can't seem to achieve it because I like too many things. Do you like to collect things? I even, I even collect rocks. Yeah, I do. And then I put them on the windowsill. I think I showed you one time my, um, my rock that Brianna brought me. It was a heart. Well, I saved that. And then I see other rocks and I have little stones that sometimes you can't clean a thermos. So let me show you what you do. I'll show you. When you can't. Your mommy has a thermos. Does she have a thermos that she puts coffee in? Well, look. That doesn't belong there. These are little stones. I keep a little bowl, a little bowl of stones. And you put the stones in the bottle and then put some water and swish, 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 and it'll come clean. In case anybody else wanted to know, that's how you do it. So, Jaden, I will talk to you again another time. I hope you have a great day. Bye, sweetie. I'll see you. Well, thank you all for visiting me at my house. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. I looked at myself. Oops. Not supposed to look at myself.